Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I am going to be doing a pretty decent sized Hobby Lobby haul. Um, a lot of clearance items and then just a few sale items. So welcome, please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be great. I appreciate it. So let's go ahead and begin. So this one here is... Uh, some sale, some regular price items. I'm going to go ahead and just remove it out of the bag. I definitely needed this. I didn't have, I had mine packed and I didn't feel like digging it out to make like mashed potatoes, things like that. So I needed that definitely. So here we go with this bag. So we'll start off with the, the masher. This one here is two seventy nine. I could have waited till they got it on sale, at the sale price they have, but I just wanted it. So two seventy nine Market Square potato masher. Yeah, so just a potato masher. I did make potatoes, mashed potatoes yesterday, last night, and I used a slotted spoon to mash them. So yeah, I definitely needed one. I picked this up for my grandson so he could have a fall uh, plate. So it has like the three compartments, the small, you know, the medium, and then the large. This one was $2.99, 40% off, which wasn't bad. So it's $2.99 regular, and then all fall, except for candy, was 40% off. And the next two items are the same. You can see the theme already, right? Happy fall, y'all. And this one here is, again, 40% off. But look at how thick this thing is. Like, it's huge. This one was $5.99 and then 40% off. Came to like three something. So I picked up two of those, two matching ones. I like to have them match. The happy fall, y'all. So it's officially fall season in my house. Once I start picking up stuff like this. It's officially, officially fall. Hopefully I don't break these. Okay. I'm trying to keep them separated from each other, but... I'll put that away when I'm done. And then the next items, I think I'm going to decorate for fall this weekend um, after I get home. So the next items are, well, let me put it this way. Everything in this bag is clearance items except for this. I posted this on Facebook. This is the Sour Patch Kids Apple Harvest. $3.99. This was the only thing that wasn't on sale and for fall. And this is so good. It's like a half the bottle. I mean, half the bag is already gone. And the flavors are cranberry, apple, apple cider. So the colors that you see are the flavor that it's going to be. So the green is caramel, apple. Amazing. Apple cider is the orange. And then cranberry apple is the red. These are delicious, but you cannot eat too many of these or you will have like a rock jaw, like literally. Okay, so let's get into the clearance items. I did a thing. I really did. Okay, so let's start off with this. I want a new tripod for my desk and I don't know if this will work, but this is the $6.99 and then it don't have to be a tripod for your desk. It could be like you're vlogging, so you can see here, here, or like that with a mic. So it has the mic. It's LED with three levels of brightness. You have the soft, like, you know, and then the bright, the softer, and then like a little less, si uh, less soft, I guess. <laughs> that didn't sound right. So $27.99 for only $6.99. So it's Studio Creator, Podcast and Vlogging Kit, Noise Reduction, Microphone, and then Ideal for pod Podcasts and Vlogs. I'm sorry, I cannot speak lately. 
TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat. Create, edit, and share. Microphone, uh, LED light, smartphone holder. Folds up tripod and grip. Audio cable. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Your camera goes on. Well, why do they have that like that and not here? Because that looks like where your phone would go. And then you have like the tripod part, the light, and then the microphone. So six ninety nine from twenty seven ninety nine, and it's called Studio Creator. If you're interested. So the next few items. What was in the bottom? Oh, okay. I forgot I bought this. And I can tell you what the fall prices were too as well. I picked up a W. It could be used as an M as well. Uh, for seventy four cents on clearance, and it's the black. I think it's black felt, and then the gold. Okay, so the next items I did pick up on this bag. The paper studio. Ten ninety nine for two seventy four. It looks like they read it from the back, which I don't understand. It is a notebook, and it looks like it's either lined or graph. Let's open it up. Ah, thinking about the package. Okay, there we go. So regular price ten ninety nine for two seventy four. So this is the front in black. Dark grid. Oh, I like the dark grid one. It's a lot thicker. Like, you could actually see the grid. That is nice. And it's a sewn book. It has a black ribbon. My desk is so packed right now with TikTok stuff. So I do apologize. The only thing I don't like is when they glue this page together. It's annoying. But yeah, so 274 and originally ten ninety nine, bullet journal, one hundred and ninety two pages. And then I'm thinking of this, like either in the middle, or just like on the bottom right here. That would be cute. Okay, so there's that one. I did pick up a book. I don't know. I thought this was good to read or whatever. The uh, Beverly Lewis, The Orchard. It looks like that. Regular price is ten seventy nine for Hobby Lobby, but really it's seventeen ninety nine if you were to buy it out of Hobby Lobby, and you get it for five thirty nine. I just thought it was a like a good quick read. I don't know if it's about faith or what, because I didn't read it. I just thought it was a good read. She realized there was peace right here in the midst of this heavenly sort of place, despite the unpredictable storm churning around her family. So maybe it is about faith. I don't think it's based on scripture because I didn't see anything while I was flipping. Could be wrong. So if you have read this, let me know in the comments below. But I thought that was a good read. Last but not least, yes, you see it. I picked up the Happy Planner. My tripod is annoying me. Okay, so I picked up the Happy Planner Classic, and I was like, no, not getting it. Not getting any more planners. I'm done with planners. So I started buying the Dollar Tree planners and, like, the other planners that I have. Um, and I did it. I ended up doing it. Okay, so this is $34.99 for... Eight dollars and seventy-four cents. Yeah, their sevens are terrible. So eight dollars and seventy-four cents. What's good about it is it's an eighteen-month dated planner, so I don't have to worry about dating it <clears throat> or redating it unless I do the July and August. Starts in July, ends in December of twenty twenty-five. That's their newer designs that they're doing. So this here is the Faith layout. And then customize your happy planner. So let's get into this one. I'll do a quick little flip. I'm going to do a flip in the next video. 
but I just wanted to show you. Now, if you remember me telling you guys to always keep this, this is the piece I'm talking about that attaches to your planner, and it's free. It's a free little dashboard, a free little sticker washi tape holder. It's free, so might as well use it. Okay, so let's crack this open. Let me move this out the way. And I'm gonna do just a few pages and then in another video do the actual flip through. Because you can see my desk is a little bit on the messy side. Let's actually move this stuff. And then I said in the video, um, I think it was the 28th, that the giveaway is going to be uh, announced on, the winner will be announced on Monday, September. I think it's third. Oh, I just bent that? I hope not. Okay, so it says the Happy Planner, Faith Edition. The planner belongs to, but look at how beautiful that looks. Oh, I like it. I feel like something's biting me. And then you have 2024, 2025. I don't have a classic size 2025, which is perfect because now I do. And only $8. And she said because the planners are coming in new right now. So, like, they're getting all the new stuff. So, they're trying to get rid of, like, the school ones, I guess. The June, July ones. Or just the older ones. So, July through December. And then you have January through June. So this is like an overview. And then July through December. So here you have for July your priorities. Who can... What was this one? Okay. So who can you help encourage this month? Reflect on, the t on a time God rescued you. Scripture you like to meditate on. And then how God is moving in your life. And you have the one, two, three. Okay, so here is July, Growing Grace. There is your monthly. So you don't see anything really about faith. This is a graph and then your planner. Sunday start, Saturday end. And then here it just says simple joys and gratitude. You don't have to keep it that way, but this is a dashboard layout. So you have one through seven for July. And then prayers and praises. Again, you could change all of these if you didn't want to use it for faith. And then scripture on your heart, on my heart. Daily tracker. So you have three of them. And then this week. And then scripture reading, prayer, worship, scripture, meditation, fellowship, serving, lear learning, stewardship, scripture, application. Uh, fasting, quiet time, and journaling could be this section here. And then these are lines, so I love that about that. They did have sticker books on sale. I did not get it, so it's all the same. We'll flip through a couple of months. Just be still. How beautiful is these dividers? So that is August, so we'll go to September, which is right here. Grace and Peace. I love the aesthetic of the colors. October, more Jesus, more joy, let go and let God for November and December. So I'll finish flipping in, you know, the following video. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you, and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.